Hey there and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the dumbbell floor press. This is a great exercise for your chest and we're going to be taking a neutral grip with this exercise today. At the end of the video, we're going to be talking about some of the common mistakes with demonstrations, of course. So just make sure to stick around for that. First thing I want you guys to think about is making sure that you're keeping the proper uh, elbow position. So here, you basically just want to keep your elbows nice and tucked in. Don't excessively force your elbows together, but you know, keep them tucked in. And then make sure that you're bringing it right underneath the chest when it comes to the angle of you bringing the weight down. And the way you know is if your forearms stay perpendicular to the ground, so the ground's horizontal, and then your forearms will have to be vertical. Also make sure that you're doing it in a nice slow and controlled tempo with your lower back flat. That's the key thing. But before we continue with more tips, here's a word from today's video sponsor. Me, I'm today's video sponsor. And if you'd like help losing fat or gaining muscle, there are a few ways I can help you down below. Either set up a free consultation with us, purchase through one of our free affiliate links, or purchase one of our instant access affordable training programs. Can't wait to be of service to you. Now let's get back to the rest of the video. So like I said, you just want to make sure that you're keeping those forms perpendicular to the ground. That's going to be key. So where you bring the weight down on your chest is going to matter a lot. Because if you bring it higher up on the chest, then obviously your forms will not be perpendicular to the ground. It'll basically be like at an angle. But what you want to do is bring it right underneath your lipple, nipple level or lower chest level. And I find that's going to keep your forms perpendicular for vast majority of people. Um, also make sure that you're doing it in kind of like a a fashion so basically bring the weights apart when you come down and then bring them together when you bring it up this by far is going to be the most comfortable position for especially for beginners and it's also just for anyone period this is a great way to uh to do this exercise because it'll take any mobility issues out of the equation when it comes to your shoulder Another key thing is to make sure that you're doing it in a nice slow and controlled fashion. So make sure you're not using momentum. Don't like drop your elbows down. That hurts and it hurt a lot, especially with all that weight on top of it. Another key thing is don't arch your lower back. Try not to like push up with your legs. Uh, I mean, this is a chest exercise. You shouldn't have to be using your legs a lot. And, the, and if you want to train your chest, like if you want to improve the muscular training of your chest, then you have to basically only use your chest or at least aim for that here you're going to be using your triceps a little bit when you're extending at the top so that's maybe the secondary muscle group that you'll be working but the vast majority of it would just be basically your chest maybe a little bit of anterior delt uh, or the front of your delt now what i recommend is that you start off with around 20 repetitions make sure you can do that very comfortably and then slowly start to increase the weight over time so every other week or so so now let's talk about some of the common mistakes and how to avoid them with demonstrations, of course. So the first one is going to be limited range of motion. We don't want to do half reps at the bottom of the range or half reps at the top of the range. You want to do four repetitions all the time. That way we get the most out of this exercise. Next common mistake is bringing the weight too high. That naturally flares the elbows out. And we also don't want to bring the weight too low where our forms are no longer perpendicular. And then lastly, you want to make sure that you don't bring the weight on the chest like that. You basically want the weights in your forms on the sides.